Hi, Peter Bobbin here from the tax team of National Law Firm Rockwell Olivier, just looking at tax litigation. One of the powers that the Australian Federal Taxation Office has is 264 notices. What's a 264 notice? It's where the tax office has the power to require someone to produce documents, even create documents, or come in for an interview, an interview that's recorded, an interview where the person needs to make a statement under oath. What do you do when you get a 264 notice? So for the professional out there working with clients, if the client gets a 264 notice, it's very important that they act quickly, act promptly. Of course, this will turn somewhat on the circumstances that the tax office is investigating. The very first thing to do is consider what are the tax objectives that the tax office is looking for. Should the issue of the 264 notice trigger an immediate voluntary disclosure? Just because a 264 notice has been issued doesn't mean that voluntary disclosure discounts are not available. They may most certainly may be. Remember, if, if a disclosure is found to be voluntary, then any penalties are reduced by a factor of 80%. So the first thing to do on getting that 264 notice is actually sit down, have a good think. Is the issue the tax office is looking at something that will d disclose a tax liability. Just maybe putting in a voluntary disclosure is an important thing to do. Thank you.